There's an all-out war in Tiffany and Sheena's house between their violently combative dogs, Ellie and Nyla. Oh my God, that's vicious. So, so, why, why, why does she have? What is? The, what do you call that? That's a that little thermal outfit. The reason why, has. the reason why I put this on her is because the cage is next to, uh, um. The window. A window. So they catch a little draft back. So there. I'll be feeling bad sometimes that they probably be a little chilly. And is she wearing a diaper? Yes. yes. I put the diapers on only because situations like this, when she gets excited, she likes to pee or poop all through the house. She Actually, treats them like they're babies, and so they have to wear diapers and clothes. They're our kids. Well, that's her kids. Sheena makes no secret of the fact that the dogs are her babies. Dogs don't need to wear pajamas. They also don't need to wear diapers unless they've got some major medical problem. Wait. That's the newest baby. Say hi, Ellie. This is the newest baby? Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Thank you. She said she's a little less friendly with she, people? She normally is. She, she normally must is. like you. No, I think she can <laughs> sense your, your gentle energy. <laughs> so then Nyla is annoyed. She's angry she's in that room and that Ellie's out here. She's tight. She's angry now. She wants out. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you go separately? Yes. We can't walk them together, so normally she goes that way, and I go this way. When we walk the dogs, we always have to go two separate ways. There's no way that they'll ever be able to use the bathroom if they're together. They'll be so busy trying to fight that they're not going to do what they have to do, and we'll be outside forever. Victoria joins Sheena to find out what effect this is having on the girls' relationship. You, you go off in separate directions, and then is it basically you don't wait for each other? Yeah, usually we don't wait for each other. That's romantic. We always have to pull the dogs apart. We always yelling and screaming, trying to talk with the dogs barking. Just how stressful is it for you in the house? It's very, very, very stressful. I mean, you don't sleep at night half of the time because if, if Nile is in a bad mood, she will bark all night. You know, so I go to work and I'm tired. So even at night, you're not getting sleep. During the day when you're here, it's just stressful. Yeah. A home should be a haven, not just for the people who live in it, but for the animals too. But this home isn't a haven. This home is full of stress. The diapers. You ought to get those dogs out eight times a day to go poo and pee out there. These dogs don't do well being dressed up in clothes. It's because clothes actually mask signals. And dogs communicate with each other. They do it, not just vocally, not just with the face, but they do it with a lot of body signals. I never knew that. So actually, what these dogs, you know, when they're trying to signal to each other, the other dog won't be able to read it, and fights can happen. I just thought I was doing the right thing, but I, I wasn't, so. Right from the start, Victoria wants to ensure that Nyla and Ellie are able to communicate clearly. All right, Anna, the time has come. Uh-oh. Yes, the time has come. Sheena's been dressing her dogs up in all sorts of ridiculous clothing. The fact is that that clothing has been masking the very important signals that are passing between dog to dog. I want the dogs to be able to signal to each other without having the impairment of clothes on. So I'm gonna get Sheena to get rid of some of the clothes. I have a bag for you here. Okay. It is time to retire the clothes that you've got in here. And I know this is gonna be tough for you because you do like dressing them up. Oh no, all this. Let's get rid of the bling, bling, bling. <laughs> but Victoria told me that I have to throw away all the dog clothes that I purchased for my dogs. I was just like, oh my God, all of them? Okay, lovely. All right, put that on there. Now, I have for you here these little coats. Uh, and a waterproof, but they're snug, uh -huh. so they're going to keep them warm. That's all they need, okay. all right? And if you want something a little lighter, then again, little fleeces. When the dogs are outside, the dogs can have their jackets on. When they're together inside, no clothes. Those so one so for cute. one and one for another. They're just very simple. Very simple. They do the job. No dressing up, no pajamas in here. Dogs don't need the pajamas. The coats I gave are just very functional, they're very close fitting. That means that body signals aren't gonna be masked and the dogs are gonna be kept warm. Are you gonna be able to do that? Yes, I am. I'll tell you, you I'm ready to do it. I'm not playing around, I'm ready. 
it was sad to let him go because I like to dress up my dogs. But if there's a problem with it, it, the dogs can't communicate with each other because of the clothes, I gotta do something. I want these dogs to walk together. Obviously, we're not at the point where one person can handle both of the dogs, uh -huh. because then you'll be like this. Yes. <laughs> but I want these dogs to have good experiences together. Walking is therapeutic. Walking relieves stress. Walking side by side as well gives the dogs experience of something good happening in each other's presence. There's no reason why you should be walking in separate directions. They would now never- we can hold hands, baby. Yes, yes. We, we never could do this without them barking at each other and trying to get to each other. Good. It's very, very nice to actually hold my girlfriend's hand when we was walking because that's something that we haven't done in months now. Always be aware though, because what happens is when you begin to see these successes, it's very easy to become complacent. Mm -hmm. And I would just say don't, with a capital D, do not get complacent because, you know, this is still very new for them and they still have that capacity to really, really go for each other and hurt each other, okay? okay? We're not best friends yet. We're, no. we're far, that's far, far in the future, if at all. Exactly. Okay. And these calm walks will have another positive side effect. This is going to be great to get all of their elimination out, so hopefully there's going to be less accidents inside. I put the dogs on a schedule that the girls have to follow so that they don't toilet in the house. I'm hoping now the dogs won't need to have diapers on. Later in the week, Victoria wants to see how the girls are keeping up with the training. When I left Tiffany and Sheena's place, they had their hands full. I'm looking forward to seeing their progress. As promised, Sheena and Tiffany now regularly take the dogs out together. Come on. Good girl. Since Victoria has been gone, the walks have been going very well. Nyla and Ellie is pretty much getting along. You know, before, there's no way we could have walked the dogs and they'd be that close without, you know, fighting. Good girl. Good girl. But now, it seems like everything is much more smooth. The dogs are much more calm. Come on, Nyla. Good girl. I think Victoria will be kind of proud to see how we've been doing with the walk. Good girl. Good girl. Of course, we have to be vigilant. We can't let our guard down and think now that they're best friends, because that's not the case whatsoever. But I am a lot more confident that they can coexist in the same space. This is great. Nyla and Ellie are right beside each other, but they're not paying attention to one another. You guys keep up the good work, because this is fantastic. Good girl, Ellie. Both dogs are still struggling with some toilet issues in the house. She looks like she's about to go pee, though. Mm-hmm. Potty training with the dogs is definitely still an issue. We've been walking them a lot more, but because our schedule is so hectic, they still tend to use the bathroom in the house. Nyla. Yeah, put a diaper on that girl. She want to mark her territory. Even though you have the dogs on a schedule, I can see that they're still toileting in the house. Old habits are hard to break but I think I have a solution for you to use until the routine really sets in. Tell me about the walk. We're still trying to adjust to the scheduling though, just because my schedule changes every day. Okay. So it's something that we're working out. We're not 100% there yet, but we're definitely making steps. Okay, good. Now, let's go on to the pottying. I mean, if you look on this side, you got some poop in the corner, in her favorite corner. Oh, I see. It's very difficult for Sheena and Tiffany to do a house training schedule because they're at work all day. If they're at work all day, they can't take the dogs out, so I have to come up with another solution. Now Victoria wants to solve one last lingering problem. She looks like she's about to go pee. Mm -hmm. I want to address the house training problem you've got here. Because you're at work most of the day, it's very difficult to do a house training schedule because you're not here to take them out every hour. So I want to give you these. We know that the dogs like going out in, on grass, mm -hmm. um, and these are kind of, uh, this is a patch of obviously fake grass, where if you put a little bit of the dog's poop, so they've got the dog scent, so when the dog comes over here and investigates and smells the scent of toilet on it, then they'll mark over it. Okay. The potty pads are really a temporary solution until the girls can really put an effective house training schedule in place. That means we can eliminate the diapers. <laughs> Good. I'm definitely loving the new setup. Victoria has given us the knowledge and the physical tools to make these dogs do what we need them to do, so we're set to go.
Since Victoria's been gone, the walking has been so much easier for us. Like, Sheena has it under control now to where she can walk them by herself. Baby, you look like a professional. The grass patches that Victoria implemented into the household, it's a lot more easy to maintain now. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.